Graptolithina is a class of hemichordate animal, the members of which are known as graptolites. Graptolites are fossil colonial animals known chiefly from the Upper Cambrian through the Lower Carboniferous. A possible early graptolite, Chaunagraptus, is known from the Middle Cambrian. The name graptolite comes from the Greek grapta, meaning written, and lithos, meaning rock. As many graptolite fossils resemble hieroglyphs written on the rock, Linnaeus originally regarded them as pictures resembling fossils rather than true fossils, though later workers supposed them to be related to the hydrozoans. More recent work places them near the terebranch, possibly within. One analysis suggests that the terebranchia represent extant graptolites. Taxonomy The name graptolite originates from the genus Graptolithus, which was used by Linnaeus in 1735 for inorganic mineralizations and crustaceans which resembled actual fossils. In 1768, in the twelfth volume of Systema Natura, he included G. Sagittarius and G. Scalarus, respectively a possible plant fossil and a possible graptolite. In his 1751 Skanska Resor, he included a figure of a fossil or graptolite of a strange kind, currently thought to be a type of Climacograptis. Later workers used the name to refer to a specific group of organisms. Graptolithus was officially abandoned in 1954 by the ICZN, partly because of its original purpose as a grouping for inorganic mimicries of fossils. Since the 1970s, as a result of advances in electron microscopy, graptolites have generally been thought to be most closely allied to the terebranch, a rare group of modern marine animals belonging to the phylum Hemichordata. Comparisons are drawn with the modern hemichordate Cephalodiscus and Rhabdoplura. Cephalodiscus numbers about 18 species, and was first discovered in 1882. Graptolites as index fossils. Graptolites are common fossils and have a worldwide distribution. The preservation, quantity and gradual change over a geologic time scale of graptolites allows the fossils to be used to date strata of rocks throughout the world. They are important index fossils for dating Paleozoic rocks as they evolved rapidly with time and formed many different species. British geologists can divide the rocks of the Ordovician and Silurian periods into graptolite biozones, these are generally less than 1 million years in duration. A worldwide ice age at the end of the Ordovician eliminated most graptolites except the Neograptines. Diversification from the Neograptines that survived the Ordovician glaciation began around 2 million years later. Graptolites are also used to estimate water depth and temperature during the Graptolite's lifetimes. Morphology Each Graptolite colony is known as a rhabdosome and has a variable number of branches originating from an initial individual. Each subsequent individual is housed within a tubular or cup-like structure. In some colonies, there are two sizes of theca, and it has been suggested that this difference is due to sexual dimorphism. The number of branches and the arrangement of the theci are important features in the identification of graptolite fossils. Their general shape has been compared with that of a hacks or blade. Most of the dendritic or many branch types are classified as dendroid graptolites. They appear earlier in the fossil record, and were generally sessile animals. Graptolites with relatively few branches were derived from the dendroid graptolites at the beginning of the Ordovician period. This latter type were pelagic and planktonic, drifting freely on the surface of ancient seas or attached to floating seaweed by means of a slender thread. They were a successful and prolific group, being the most important animal members of the plankton until they died out in the early part of the Devonian period. The dendroid graptolites survived until the Carboniferous period. Preservation Graptolite fossils are often found in shales and mud rocks where seabed fossils are rare. This type of rock having formed from sediment deposited in relatively deep water that had poor bottom circulation, was deficient in oxygen, and had no scavengers. 
The dead planktonic graptolites, having sunk to the sea floor, would eventually become entombed in the sediment and are thus well preserved. Graptolites are also found in limestones and cherts, but generally these rocks were deposited in conditions which were more favorable for bottom-dwelling life, including scavengers, and undoubtedly most graptolite remains deposited here were generally eaten by other animals. Graptolite fossils are often found flattened along the bedding plane of the rocks in which they occur, though may be found in three dimensions when they are infilled by iron pyrite. They vary in shape, but are most commonly dendritic or branching, saw-blade-like, or tuning fork, shaped. Their remains may be mistaken for fossil plants by the casual observer. Graptolites are normally preserved as a black carbon film on the rock's surface or as light gray clay films in tectonically distorted rocks. The fossil can also appear stretched or distorted. This is due to the strata being folded and compacted. They may be sometimes difficult to see, but by slanting the specimen to the light they reveal themselves as a shiny marking. Pyritized graptolite fossils are also found. A well-known locality for graptolite fossils in Britain is Aberridi Bay, Dyford, Wales, where they occur in rocks from the Ordovician period. Sites in the southern uplands of Scotland, the Lake District and Welsh borders also yield rich and well-preserved graptolite faunas. Bibliography